thousands of Russian military units, facilities and installations across the globe, located on map, identified and integrated into the order of battle of Russian power structures to the fullest possible extent. All of this and perhaps more included in this project. I am State to 6 and this is the story of my work. The idea of this project was born in 2019 when I was taking my first steps in X, then Twitter's military and open source intelligence world and became fascinated by the capabilities that satellite imagery offer in relation to tracking and analyzing military developments. As I was getting more familiar with Google Earth, I started locating Russian air bases, identifying military aircraft types and radar systems. After some time, I've decided that this is not enough and I want to create something bigger. So I said to myself, fuck it, let's map the whole Russia, basically. As the work on the project progressed, I've started expanding its scope and adding units and facilities from other Russian power bodies. So now it includes thousands of units and facilities from the Russian Armed Forces, FSB, Federal Protective Service, National Guard, Ministry of Emergency Situations and more. In one of the latest updates, I've also added installations located in Belarus, so now the project includes both Russian and Belarusian facilities. Ok, so where do I even begin with such a gargantuan task? Where is the start line? When I was commencing this work, I came up with the idea that I will be taking this project step by step, military district by military district. As some of you may know, Russian Air Forces are administratively divided into a number of military districts, each of them responsible for its own certain part of the Russian territory. So in my project, every completed district was meant to be a checkpoint and another update shared on X, formerly Twitter. I won't be showing you every single point on map, of course, as this video would have probably lasted longer than Kyiv in 3 days. But I want to outline to you how the process of gathering information and identifying different facilities looked like. To kick off the project I needed some kind of a base, a comprehensive list of Russian units from which I could proceed further. Back then there were two great sites for that, milkafkas.com and warfare.ru, which had virtually a complete order of battle for the Russian Air Forces and National Guard. After some time, these sites went dark. You can still find their snapshots on Wayback Machine. Later, I've started using Russian Wikipedia, which also has a pretty extensive and up-to-date data for the Russian order of battle, to be fair. As my work progressed, I've carved out a system of markings for different types of units and facilities. Red color is meant for the Grand Forces, blue for Aerospace Forces, green for navy and so on. Now I want to show you an example of identifying a unit and putting it on map. Let's say we are locating units from the central military district. Let's translate central military district into Russian and go into Wikipedia. In this section, so stuff, we will find a list of units. Let's find the third separate guards Spetsnaz brigade. This is it. And here we have its location, Toliati city. We travel to Toliati and... Damn, that's a big city. Where is the third Spetsnaz brigade? A trained eye would have probably take one or two sweeps through Toliati and find the unit's base within seconds. But don't worry, if you don't have a trained eye yet, you still have a powerful ally on your side. A five digit military unit number which is a numeric alternate designation for military units and formations in the Russian Air Forces. It is used for official correspondence and administrative matters. Every unit has its own unique number. The military unit number of the 3rd Spetsnaz Brigade is 21208. Let's google it. And here is the exact address of this unit. Put it in Google Earth. Zoom out. And there is this interestingly looking building complex. Zoom in. Green colored military vehicles. So that appears to be the unit's base. 
Let's seek additional confirmation. We go to the street view and approach the gates. What do we see here? A checkpoint. Large metal gate. A man who appears to be wearing a military uniform. And a sign. Contract service in the Spetsnaz Brigade. There is the base of the 3rd Separate Guards Spetsnaz Brigade. So up to this point everything looks pretty simple, right? When you have the unit's number and unit's name and you know the unit's place in the chain of command, that is relatively easy. But I can assure you that only around 10% of the work went so smoothly. The rest of it was a slow and painful process, a never-ending drill into all corners of Russian internet in an attempt to gather and verify information, full of loose ends and contradictions. This is a perfect title to describe what I was going through during much of the work on the project. An endless loop of rabbit holes. That's what it was. Here's an example. While researching one unit, you often encounter a list of other units. As you pursue more information about units from that list, you often end up on some obscure Russian forums where details you are seeking can be totally contradicting. Ivan2250 might write, this unit was disbanded in 2014. While Sergei from Habarovsk responds, it wasn't disbanded, only changed its military unit number from XXXXX to ZZZZZ. And then Andrei11190 interferes. Guys, you are both wrong. Unit XXXXX has been transferred to a new base in Dmitrograd. This facility is now operated by Unit YYYYY. So now you have to decide who is right and who is wrong here, and whether you are satisfied with this information or want to dig deeper. And it was like that many times, whole afternoons spent on investigating one unit or facility when you were supposed to complete a whole list. So it was mostly a road of death and pain, but there were also some lighter moments, like ending up on V-contact sites of some of the Russian units full of photos of Russian soldiers and their antics. At the end of work with every military district, when I was sure that I've exhausted pretty much all of resources available from open sources, I conducted a one final tour across a whole geographical area of a given district. I was doing this to find any installations potentially omitted during previous research. So I was scanning through all the cities and settlements, this time no military units numbers, no addresses, no waypoints of any kind. My only guide was my knowledge regarding distinguishing and identifying military facilities. Ok, so how do you actually spot a Russian military installation on satellite imagery? There are two main indicators. One of them is this white rectangle or a set of white rectangles, usually located in the center of the facility. These are meant to, as I understand this, kind of guide the soldiers where to line up during ceremonies and drill. The second indicator is the presence of green colored military vehicles. Not every military or security related installation looks the same, of course. Some are smaller, some are bigger, others have a larger vehicle park, and others don't have one at all. It depends on the purpose and size of a given unit. If we are not sure whether the facility is operated by the military, we can also jump to Street View and look for some additional clues. Some of the more distinguished units might even have their name or unit number written somewhere around the gates. Another very serious clue is a sight of Russian servicemen approaching the Google car like they are about to do something malicious. Ok, so let's say we have a suspected military installation located on map 
but we still don't know anything about its purpose, name or place in the chain of command. What I usually do in such situation is going to Wikimapia, which is also a great tool, and finding that location. The settlement of Mga in Leningrad Oblast, in this case. Here it is, Voiskovaya Chast 11115, Military Unit 11115. Let's Google it. Plenty of information, but pretty much everything we need is here. Dziewiątsty oddzielny specjalny wojskowy batalion, który stał sztatnym podrazdzieleniem i włożył w sostaw wojsk leningradzkiego wojennego okruga. So now we know the unit's name and its place in the chain of command. We can put it on map. And that was a basic unit identification with the help of Wikimapia. Sometimes it can be more complicated. For instance, the information on Wikimapia might not be sufficient or simply outdated. Then I have to dig further and inevitably fall into another rabbit hole. But that's life, I guess. So that was a brief summary of the project. As I mentioned in the video, years long work, slow and tiresome process, but it's complete now more or less. I will put the download link in the description. And now I want to credit people who contributed to the project. First and foremost, I want to thank ex-user Breaking Craft for sharing his work, as it allowed me to fill many blank spots and solve some issues. Another shout out goes to Covert Cabal, who also provided his KMZ file to me. Also credit to ex-user Bass, who was sharing his findings with me. And that would be it for today. As I mentioned, download link is in the description. If you have any other questions or issues, feel free to hit me up. More things on this channel coming soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.